Hello, my name is John Elder and I work for CAS Service. The purpose of this video is to show you how to wire a shunt trip breaker to one of our hood control packages to control power to the appliances under the hood during a fire situation. Explain the differences between a shunt trip breaker and a GFI breaker as well as an alternative to using a shunt trip breaker. Let's start by identifying a shunt trip breaker. A shunt trip breaker contains an electric coil and a plunger that when the coil is energized, the plunger is operated and the breaker is tripped mechanically. The breaker can be identified by having two wires or terminals on the side where 120 volts gets applied to energize the coil and operate the plunger. It's important to note that the shunt trip breakers are different than GFI breakers. GFI breakers only have one pigtail wire, usually white, that would get wired to the neutral bar in the breaker panel and trips electrically when a short is detected. Note, a GFI breaker cannot be wired to a hood control package and operate because the control package does not create a short. Rather, it sends out 120 volts to energize a coil. So remember, breaker selection is critical for proper performance. Now let's look at a hood control package. On the right hand side you'll find the terminal blocks. Find the two terminals labeled ST and N1. These are going to be the terminals that will provide power to the coil on the shunt trip breaker. Wire the shunt trip breaker coil to these terminals and when the hood goes into the fire mode, the controls will energize terminal ST with 120 volts. The preferred method to controlling the power to the appliances under the hood during a fire is to use a shunt trip breaker. However, in some cases, for whatever reason, shunt trip breakers are not available. A contactor can be used. The coil voltage for the contactor would come from terminals AR1 and N1. This will provide 120 volt control power to energize the contactor coil until the hood controls go into the fire mode, at which time the 120 volts will be removed and the contactor will be de-energized. For more information or further assistance, you can call 1-866-784-6900 or email support at castservice.com.